hello guys welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be doing a fifth fish room tour so let's get into the video before we start with the tour or anything uh i just want to thank you for all the views i've been getting and i hope that each one of you could subscribe it'll mean a lot to me and yeah let's get into the tour okay at uh, first as usual we're going to be starting off with these two so in here it's looking pretty good i got my blood parrot my convicts my crebenzis my four line pick this catfish they're doing pretty well all good i may do a feeding after the whole tour so watch the end to get to that anyways this tank now is doing pretty good as well we got the pike as you guys saw in the last tour, we got the convict and the golden Ambuna and the regular sliders doing well. Also, by the end of the video, I'm gonna oh there's the pipe. Anyways, by the end of the video, um, I'm probably gonna hold him and show you guys him. So yeah, this is probably first time for that on this channel. So look forward to that. And over here now, I have my paludarium. It is doing pretty good. I added back my Daniel because it was looking pretty dead in here with only the Amano shrimp. It's looking pretty good though. I really want to rescape this tank and redo everything because it really doesn't look that good. So I'm hoping to do that as soon as possible. Now down here, the better tank is actually looking very good. I actually cut the roots of the frog bit because they were getting wildly overgrown and the beta barely had any space to swim and I could barely see in the tank. I will try to find a picture of that and put it up on screen. And yeah, the roots were just long, at least like a foot and a half. So yeah, the tank's looking good now. Now over here, as you guys saw in the last video, is my shrimp. And in here actually, I actually added the roots of the frog bit so they could, you know, graze or do their thing on that you could see a shrimp right there one of the females is buried actually which means she has eggs as you saw in the last video and yeah go check that out where i first got the shrimp i probably at the end card of this video yeah there's four shrimp yeah now down here i have my planted tank that my 10 gallon planted tank the daniel's gone as i just showed you so it's just these two panda platies I want to actually get a male so he could breed with them. So we're going to get to that soon. And the tank's pretty well. And yeah, the pulse is growing pretty good. These guys are doing well. Yeah. You, you can actually see my supplies here from cutting all the frog bit. Yeah. Okay, down here we have my saltwater tank with just a clownfish. I may feed him after this also. So stay tuned to the end for that. And yeah, the tank's pretty good. He's doing well. And yeah. Next we have my 10 gallon with the jewel cichlid. He's doing good as usual. He's pretty well. He's just hiding right now. Aggressive as usual. And I actually found out a tip. To make him less aggressive, I keep the water cool. So that actually makes sense why he was like way more aggressive in that tank because these guys actually had ache, so I had to bump up the temperature. As you can see, the heat is pretty high. It's on around like 90 something maybe. That's a little high for me. So that probably makes sense why he was aggressive because before the tank was a bit cooler and he was not aggressive at all. So that makes sense. But I don't really want to lower the temperature in this tank because I don't want the ache to come back. So we'll just have to keep him in the 10 gallon. Now I'm gonna do the feeding for this tank, this tank, and the clownfish tank. I actually fed the better earlier, so. So I have all these options to feed the cichlids, so I don't know which one I should choose. I'll probably do, uh, I'll go with some flake. Okay, so I'm gonna set you guys up on a tripod. Okay. The top view with these guys eating is actually like really good, so I'm gonna try to get that. So. 
I haven't fed these guys in around, I'd say, four days, so I'll feed them a bit extra. And you could actually hear them nibbling. Yeah, watching these guys eat is amazing. Now I'm gonna have to feed my four line pick this some catfish pellets, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that. Here we have it. I feed him pretty, pretty secretly because the cichlids would take it from him, and I have to try to spot feed him so he gets it. So there he is right there. I hope he can get some. Yeah. There he is. Yeah, he got one and he'll get the rest on his own later so yeah now we're gonna go ahead and show you guys the turtle okay and this actually fell off the basking station so i'll put that back later but here my radio sliders these pretty big around the size of my palm could see. I hope he doesn't poop on me, but yeah, he's pretty good. He's not really a biter, he doesn't bite a lot. His shell, he has um a bit of pyramiding, but he had that before I got him, so nothing too bad. And you could tell he's a male because his nails are long and his tail is pretty big. He's tucking that in now, obviously, but yeah, he's pretty well around, I'd say, five inches maybe, because I have big hands, so yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and put him back into his tank. There he goes. Okay, guys, I actually remember that I fed my clownfish earlier today, so I'm not going to feed him in this video, unfortunately, so... The next video, I would try to feed him. So hopefully we get to that. And I also want to do a cleaning of this tank, and I want to add a light. So yeah, I'm gonna try to do that as soon as possible. Also, so yeah, we're gonna do that. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and comment down below what you think of my fish room, and if you think that my fish room could use any upgrades and any tips for my fish room so yeah thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah bye